All right, guys, I've got uh, my new inner barrel here. Now, these were made, um, these are made from yeah, a factory in China. They specialize in, they specialize in polishing, um, polishing in, uh, in particular stainless steel. And uh, I managed to talk to them, discuss the issue, you know, that, uh, you know, we need a, you know, need, ideally need a, an inner barrel that's well priced, but, um, but also has some really high degree of, of polishing inside. And, um, and I, I did a video with it explained how they measure the the polishing in some, or polishing of of products uh stainless steel um but so i won't go into that too much you can you can sort of see it if you have a look back um and uh i just thought uh, we got i've got an early batch in um which was great and i've uh i sort of invested some money in so a, a, you know super high-end set of digital calipers here and some pin gauges as well i've got a lot um, I've got quite a range but these are the these are just the six mil ones so we go from six uh 6.01 6.02 and 6.03 so what i thought i'd do i just have a quick look and these have all been sort of cleaned up as well they come, remember they come straight from the factory and normally inside um to get the polish in there was all sorts of all sorts of compounds in here when they're going up and down like that and uh yeah it's a real mess when they first arrive and and you know you're going to be going through quite a few swabs to get them clean um, I'm not going to go into how you clean your barrel. Um, that will do that in another video, really, on how I do it. There's loads of different ways, you know. There's, you know, it's not. Uh, it's just basically use common sense and uh, use a good cleaner, like a you know an alcohol. I use some surgical spirit, which is just, um, you know, it's just a uh, just like an alcohol based um, um, mixture. So uh, I thought I'd just have a quick look, and we can have a look to see what an expensive uh, set of brand new uh, digital calipers can, and how it would measure the. Um, a barrel so um let's pop this in here okay so so yeah so this is coming up at six roughly 6.0 or 6.01 so these are coming up so slightly under let's have a look here so again 6.01 on there and the pin gauge i mean this is only so this can only do so much this can really only do so much because those little those little jaws hit there they can only go so far into the inner barrel there and uh what a lot of um, what a lot of uh things that i've seen is that when they're doing the machining on this if the material isn't i mean luckily this is stainless steel so it's pretty strong um pretty strong material and um, when they're doing the machine you know you can easily deform this this end here you know you can make it too flattened down so this is not a great test not a great test one of those um certainly you know um if you had a cheaper one you know five pounds i mean this was this was i think 120 um you can get ones 330 and i imagine to if you were if you were building a rocket for for nasa and you needed to measure the the, the total uh inner bore of this you know you're talking thousands at all which costs <laughs> maybe fifty thousand fifty thousand quid to measure something like this so but anyway, this is kind of like what the best what we've got to to measure, and that's where pin gauges come into it. Now, pin gauge is just a just a highly uh, a highly machined bit of metal. But even you know, I'm just trusting what what the manufacturer uh, has to say. So again, I would have to send these away to be to be tested against somebody else, uh, and that's probably the best way of doing it. You know, do your measurements with the, with the with the tools you have, then send them away. Send the same product away for somebody who who really does this for a living and then they can measure it as well but for the benefit of this test here i thought we'd just uh we'll just have a quick look on here and what i'll probably do is um i'll sell uh, uh some of the ones that did come in were were around the six mil range and, and i thought well you know maybe someone out there wants a really super tight tight bore and I'll sell them at uh, a slightly cheaper rate. But anyway, let's have a quick look here, what we've got. So, so we said six mil, so six mil. So, so this was 6.1. So this should go in really easy. Yeah, there you go, look, in and out. You can definitely tell. So, and if we go to the 6.1, 6.01, again, in and out pretty easily. Um, we could probably get, we could probably get 6.02 out of this and yeah sure enough there we go a little bit tight and that's as probably as far as i go so you can see the pin gauges definitely differ from from the digital calipers and again again you've got five you've got five centimeters worth going down into the uh the barrel there um so let's pop that to one side um and let's have a look at um 
let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at a mad ball. Now a mad ball is slightly different in a barrel. It's aluminium, um, and it's got a it's got a Teflon coat on there. And I have had I put the bore scope down this one, and I did find. I did find, uh, and when I spoke to Scott, the owner, I don't own this one. This is this was uh, lent to me by Scott from uh, Alpha Delta Airsoft, and uh, you can go and buy something if you want. But uh, anyway, you can, if you, uh, uh, I had a look down here, and he says, "Oh, I ain't cleaned it for, I ain't cleaned it for years." This one, <laughs> and I say, "Clean your barrel every after every game. Just clean your barrel. It takes it takes minutes." Just clean it. But this one he hasn't cleaned for a while. And yeah, you can tell there's a lot of BB residue in here. You can see where the BB's gone in and it's bounced up and down, up and down, up and down. As it's gone on, I can saw all sorts of marks through here. But let's have a quick look. Now, these are supposedly 6.03. So let's put let's get a 6.03 pin gauge here. Let's have a look. Here. No, no, there's no chance. No way that's getting in there. So let's have a 6.02. And let's have a look there. Again, yeah, no, oh, oh, yeah, there we go, 6.02, we get 6.01, again, yeah, uh, yeah, so it's, I, I, I would say the 6.02 is a little bit tight, so I would say maybe somewhere in in between, maybe 6.015, or whatever, if you really wanted to go to it, but yeah, yeah it gets in there now, maybe, maybe there was a bit of dirt in there um but you can definitely see you can definitely maybe feel where it's tighter at the end and uh, again because it's aluminium based when they do the cuts perhaps they put a little bit too much pressure on this end here when they're doing the cuts and it causes and it causes all sorts of problems and i would have thought because this end here where there's more cuts it's going to be slightly tighter so let's just let's get a 6.02 here let's have a look here yeah you see that that won't even go through. So if we take a 6.01, let's have a look here. And yeah, so 6.01 at this end and a 6.02 at this end here. Yeah, it's all interesting stuff. You know what, as long as it performs really well, it's, you know, don't get hung up on it. Don't, I mean, it calls itself a tight bore and I'm not entirely too sure, you know, yeah, it probably is a tight bore, but uh, 6.03, I don't think it is, but, um, the important thing is, as long as it fires well and it serves you right, then uh, then it works. You know, the, there's no reason to get hung up on hung up on the the bore size. Um, but um, yeah, let's have a quick look whilst we're here at. Let's have a look at some ZCI. Now it's quite difficult to do, quite difficult to do with this, but I'll give it a go. I have to do off because I've only got like a 400 mil. Oh, this fucking thing. Right, okay, let's do a 400. I'll have to do it off the camera here. So this comes out to a ZCI, comes out to really six. I'm getting, I'm getting six, six point zero one six. Right, so let me pop that down there. Let's get the pin gauge. Let's get the pin gauge on these. On this one, well, I haven't given this a good clean, but it should still be relatively the same. So it's, we take a 6.01. Yeah, let's pop that in. Yeah, I can get it into there. I can't get it in any further. So maybe, maybe it's just super dirty, or it could be there's a there's a blockage there. So let me take that out again. Yeah, that's really tight. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to get a 6.02 in there. Pop that. Yeah, you can you can hear it pop. You can hear the air pop. Um, okay. Yeah, let's try let's try two anyway. Yeah, there's no no chance, no chance. So this is this is the so that goes to show that even the ZCI. I mean, when they say they're six point zero two, they're actually not. You know, they're they're uh, they possibly might have. I mean, when you buy when you buy a product from China, a commission a product from China, they will always say, oh look, we can only do you know within zero point zero two millimeter tolerance. So. So maybe they aim for something like 6.03 and then or 04 and then they can even get something around 6.02 but um again it again as long as it's clean and as long as it flows as long as that bb as long as the fat bb which is a, a bb's around about and these are all bbls ones as they're all again again i, I imagine to to get some tolerance on these is even harder so 
if we pop that in there, so 5.94, and these are rated at 5.95, and, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing they say 9.5 to, to say, uh, and, and then they maybe, maybe they aim for 9.4, 9.3, I mean, that's a 9.5, oh, that's a 9.3 actually, okay, here we go. Yeah, so maybe they maybe they aim for. I mean, if you were a BB manufacturer, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to fly so so close. These are point two five as well. You wouldn't want to fly so close to the sun, would you? You'd want you know you you don't want blockages. You don't want you don't want people being angry with your product. So so what's that then? Yeah. Again, it's it's difficult to it's so difficult to measure when you're when you start dealing in the zero point zero um, digits because. Um, it's uh, what I'll get the hair there. I'm sure if I sent the way to some other guy with an even more expensive setup here, he'd get something completely different. Well, not completely different, but he might get 0 0.01 extra on there. So um, you don't really know. So let's have a quick look at um, what else have I got here? I don't know. Oh, we've got a Lonix here somewhere. Here we go. Let's have a look at the Lonix. So let's take it from this end here. Again, this is this is a stainless steel, I think, barrel. I think it's stainless steel it might be but um let's have a look and i imagine let's start off with the 6.02 nope nope that's not gonna fit let's try 6.01 Ooh, nope nope it's not gonna fit and we'll try six you know, again this is a pretty good barrel you know it's again another one for scott he probably hasn't cleaned it um <laughs> uh lazy fucker um yeah so six mil six mil this one let's try the other end here really quickly i mean you can see that yeah so that's a real tight six mil that one maybe, maybe that's uh 599 again even 599 works really well it works really well because you've got a lot of clearance from something like one of these and again it comes down to how how tight you want your bbs flying out and it's all about it's all about um experimenting with what you've got and then and then making small adjustments based on that so uh yeah so hopefully you gained a little bit of uh of an insight into uh this and um, i'm gonna have a look around and see what i can do with some of these and some of the tighter ones they'll go on the website at a really good price so uh yeah have a look <laughs>